everybody, it's John with John Sports Stars Collectibles coming to you with a brand new video. How's everyone doing out there today in the YouTube universe? It's time for another video. This time we're diving back into the archives once again, and we're going to check out a traded set from 1982. It's the 1982 Tops Traded Series. Very cool stuff right here. Extremely valuable, valuable set. Features 132 cards. There are ironically no rookies in this release. Although there are cards that you would think that would, should be considered rookie cards. Players that were part of the 1982 releases, Future Stars, Beckett decided that those would be the true rookie cards and that these standalones with the players in their, um, some of them in, um, in uh, new uniforms, but the rookies per se would not be considered rookie cards, which I do not agree with. In our last video, we talked about that in the uh, 1981 trade series set that we showcased. I, I don't understand why uh, Tops allowed one entity, a third party, that being Beckett, to uh, to decide on um, on how these cards were going to be and, you know, effectively, you know, uh, affect the value of these cards um, back then and also now. So, this, uh, this set is extremely expensive. We try to pick it up now. I know one sold on um, on eBay that was just like this, not not authenticated by by a baseball card exchange or anyone else, um, for over two hundred dollars. Uh, on average, the set goes for over two hundred dollars. There was a recent sale of a uh, baseball card exchange sealed authenticated set for over four hundred dollars. So it's a very very valuable set. Big cards in here. Let's take this out. Now, this has been opened up. Let's see. The first time I opened it up was to take out um, the Cal Ripken Jr. card, which is in here, and a few others in order to get them possibly graded. So this was opened once. You can see the the remnants of the tape that were that that was there on the box from years and years and years ago. This is only available at hobby hobby shops. So. Your uh, local LCS or card shop would be the only place where you could have got picked this up back in the day. And I can't remember the exact price of what this series was, the set was when it came out. Um, so I'm not going to speculate what it was, but it was definitely not, <laughs> not no, nowhere, nowhere near what the value of, is, of it is now. So you can see the cards right here. And um, yeah, so there are some other valuable cards in, in this. I did not pull up the uh, PSA list. But some of the uh, lesser players or players that you think that, you know, well, that can't be worth anything are for, for one reason or another. And I think it's probably centering issues, you know, um, perhaps uh, certain cards had something wrong with them. And there's no way like, a, you know, a 10 is so extremely rare that, um, that that is why PSA has deemed the value so high. So that over there all right let's check this out now the last cards that we're going to show are the uh three big big names three hall of famers but there might be some other hall of famers in here i can't remember off the top of my off the top of my head i did not look at the checklist for this i don't think these are in any sort of order this fergie jenkins right there that's pretty cool so this is really my first time looking at this set um the cards that i pulled out i kind of just found out where they were in the pile and didn't really go through anything else. And I pulled out the the the, uh, the three that we put in top loaders over here. Um, so this is, again, is my, probably my first real true look at this set. So you can, uh, you know, share this experience with me. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to check this out. So we started here with Rich Gale and this is the, you know, 1982 release with the hockey stick. They call it that, the swoop, the banner right there, kind of like a hockey stick. Um, the other thing about this says these are all brand new photos. They didn't recycle anybody um, or have any sort of photo variations. These are all new photos uh, with these players in their new team uniforms. Okay, Rich Gale starts us off. And, of course, we took out the back. We already know what it looks like, but you can see the T there for traded. Always take a look. If you're ever opening up this Fairfield boxes, take a look at the backs of your cards to make sure you don't have traded cards they tend to put those in those Fairfield like you know 100 card pharmacy boxes they've been in those cubes 
Um, and occasionally you'll get a Tiffany. And the way to tell the difference in the Tiffany is um, the Tiffany will be glossy and, and, and the tray will be just like the regular card. But the backs uh, will have like a really pure different. You can see a real deep, rich color depending on the, re the release of the year. So, um, and I'm guessing perhaps all white. You know, we're, we're like this kind of a salmon-y kind of pink would be. But I could be wrong on that on some of the on some of the years. Anyway, let's continue. Tim Foley. Dick Davis. Mick Kelleter. Al Cowens. Joe Rudy. Kent Herbeck. Now, that's a standalone card. He's on a Future Stars, but again, they don't consider this a rookie card, which is kind of disappointing. Ken Herbert's got the kind of a half of a stash there and the bad haircut, and he, he, was, in, he was in a bad player. Pretty good. Ron Washington. Alan Ripley. Rance Mullenix. Sexto Lescano. Jim Essien. Corners on these cards seem to be very, very nice. Very, very sharp. Alex Trevino. Trevino. John Mayberry. Now, here it looks like they painted the cap, which is interesting. And even this, too, even his jersey. So they may have taken this photo. Maybe this was a photo variation. I think he was with the Blue Jays. Yeah, so... Um, and then paint it over because that does not look like a normal New York Yankees logo. And those definitely look like they were painted on. They don't even they don't look straight. So I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe I'm incorrect. Could be a Yankees cap. It could be. It could be. But this, again, looks certain, kind of strange too. This Phillies doesn't look like a normal Phillies cap to me. It looks like they painted that one too. So we got Bill Robinson here. He came over from the Pirates. He went back to the Phillies. Was with him for a little bit. Dave Revering, Eric Shaw, Eddie Whitson, Dan Ford, Jay Johnstone, Jerry Turner, Elias Sosa, Joe Pittman. That looks kind of painted too. Hmm, interesting. Not 100% sure though. Mike Proley, Ron Davis, look at that. Just looks like confused. Beautiful. Mark Belanger. This must have been near the end for him. Look at all those years with the Orioles. I mean, he played for a long, long time. 65. All the way up to 82. And then traded to the, or maybe signed as a free agent, I'm guessing, with the Dodgers. Davey Lopes, they were the A's. So we got Hall of Famer Ferguson Jenkins, Fergie Jenkins, beautiful. Jim Morrison. Dan Schatzeter. Gary Woods. Shilly Davis, another uh, bigger name in the A2 release. The A2 release also had a factory set, and you could get um, all the Future Stars cards, obviously, with the factory set in there. They're quote unquote rookie cards. But Chili Davis is one of the uh, ones on the Giants. Had a pretty nice career. Vita Blue here in Kansas City. That definitely looks painted. I must say. But there he is, Mr. Vita Blue with the Royals. A unique card you don't see every single day. Ross Baumgartner. A Ross Baumgarten. They always said Ross Baumgartner, but it's Ross Baumgarten. Baumgarten. Interesting. Greg Pryor, Greg Harris, Junior Kennedy, Yvonne De Jesus, Roger Erickson. I mean, that haircut is scary. That looks like a wig. 
It really does. Oh my, oh my. Bill Caudell, Roy Smalley, played for the Twins for a long time. Steve Stroder, I don't remember him. I do not remember him for the Mariners. Bobby Brown, Frank Tanana, Dave Frost, Frank Tavares with the Expos. That's kind of an interesting one. So the Pirates, and then we trade him away to the Mets for, the, for Tim Foley. But that's kind of interesting. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this card before. So that's pretty cool. Here are the Expos. Tim Blackwell with that really scary mustache right there. Ken Griffey Sr. Not smiling in that picture. Um, because he was trading from the Reds to the Yankees. He probably wasn't very happy about that. Uh, maybe he signs a free agent. I'm not 100% sure. Joe Nolan. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love the glasses. The this the the just the look is just classic. Enos Cabell. Played for the Astros for like the longest time. And the Giants for what one year. The Orioles started out with the Orioles. Steve Sachs. Again, another one that's on the standalones, I believe. And um I think, I don't think he's an 81, so I think this is probably, this is obviously not a rookie, but it is his rookie year, per se. Grant Jackson, pretty cool. Rick Sutcliffe, Mike Lacoste, Bo Diaz, Mike Stanton, Steve Mura, George Orta, Tom Verizer, Tom Pashorek. Going the other way, that's odd. Shane Raleigh. Jack Perconte. Uh, Hoskin Powell. Bob Shirley. What's going on back there? People in the stands. Some of them before the game started, you know, doing their warm-ups or whatnot. Uh, Doyle Alexander. Lamar Johnson. This is actually kind of a valuable one. Oh, it's turned around like that. That's kind of strange. This one could be a valuable one, I believe. But maybe there's like print errors on it. Maybe that's why. I'm not 100% sure. Jeff Burrows. Randy Johnson. Mike Krukow. Was it Krukow? I'll get the pronunciation down one of these days. Gary Templeton. I, I th guess you guys will know what card's going to be coming up near the end if you see Templeton with the Padres. So there you go. There's a real Padres cap. So those other ones are definitely color, you know, um, drawn on. Atlanta Braves, Steve Bedrosian. Just with that look, I mean, it just, I, I, I don't know what, what was going on there. If he's caught off guard, I mean, I just, it's a little bit of, of a funny photo right there. You got your checklist. I don't remember if there was a checklist in the 81 set or not. There may have been, but I don't recall it. Jim Kern, Bobby Castillo, and this is the second year of um, this being released on a, as a standalone release, 81 being the first year. Then you've got your 74 set, which was which we showcased here last week, which uh, was actually just part of either the factory set that you could have purchased at JC Penney's. It was the only place you could have gotten it back in 74 or um, the inside packs. And then there's traded cards in 72. There's only seven of them, and those you could only get in the packs. So this is the second year of the standalone for Toss. Rene Martin, Larry Parrish, Dwayne Kuyper, Dan Meyer. I just really, I also want to say here, I love these, these A's uniforms. The green and the yellow, just when you see pictures like this, it just really stands out. Very nice stuff right there. Johnny Ray. Again, another one I think that would be considered a rookie, but again, it's not. Because he's on the Future Stars card. Doug Flynn. The Mets for a while. Reds before that. There's the Rangers. Bob Denier. This is another one I think is could hold some value. Probably because of centering is my guess. But this is probably 
I don't know, this thing isn't too bad on this one. It's got a little print thing. This is probably be an eight. Maybe somebody would be nice and give it a nine, but I don't think, you know, a 10. Tens are virtually impossible. Larry Boa, the Cubs, Bob Boone, Al Oliver, love it, it's beautiful. Champ Summers, Wayne Krzyzewski, Larry Sorensen, Ron Gartenhire, Lonnie Smith, Jesse Barfield this is another one. I think he's on the Future Stars as well, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, I think he probably is. Bump Wills. Charlie Paleo, George Foster. That's a very nice one, too. Never seen that one before. Really nice stuff. Okay, last part of the set, last stack. Keith Moreland, Kurt Bavacqua. Well, he just bounced all over the place, didn't he? Dave Collins, the Reds to the Yankees. Yep, they played the year with the Mariners and two years with the Angels. Eddie Milner. I think this is a rookie, too. or you know, not, I want to say it's not a rookie. It's his first standalone. Um, he had some major promise. He was supposed to be uh, a big uh, speedster. He was a big speedster, but, you know, a big um, base stealer. And, um, I mean, he just didn't he just didn't pan out. Lee Mazzilli with a stash in this one. The Mets, he would eventually, I think, play with the Pirates um, after this. Aurelio Rodriguez, Mike Ivey, John Montefusco, or John the Count Montefusco, Bill Campbell, yes, love it. That's awesome, the 70s truck driver look. BJ and the Bear, that's beautiful. Cesar Cedeno, but for a long time, you can see there were the Astros all those years. Vaughn Hayes. His first standalone, I believe. Ray Knight. A bunch of years with the Reds, with the Astros. Then what went with the Mets, too, I believe, after that. Doug DeCinces, Ed Vandenberg, Larry Herndon, Gaylor Perry. Hall of Famer right there. Was he an 81 traded, too? He may have been. I think he is, so two years in a row. I mean, look at all these years he played. Holy smokes. I mean, that's a long, long, long time he played. 20 years? If I'm doing my math right, it's, it's either 63 or 64. I think it's, let me see. It's so tiny. I think 62 was his first year, I believe. So he would have been only 20 years. That does not happen anymore. Gene Nelson, Dickie Knowles. Jerry Martin, a little, per, little perplexed there. Reggie Smith, he would get, did he come over for the Dodgers? He did. He played for a long time, too. That's right, 66 was his first year. The Red Sox, Reggie Smith, pretty good player. Not in the Hall of Fame, but a good player. Dan Briggs, Chet Lemon, pretty decent outfielder right there. Sid Monge, Ed Farmer, Bake McBride, he played for a long time, too. Started in 73. You'd have probably a few more seasons. Butch Weiniger. Over from the Twins. Yeah, he wasn't that. I remember he had a couple of okay years. Just looking at his stats right here. Butch Weiniger. But, you know, he was he was a known name of the Twins. And I, I remember him definitely. Uh, Rob Piccolo. Bob Watson. Rest in peace. He played for a long time, too. Look at that. All those years of the Astros and went to the Red Sox for a second. And then on to the Yankees, and then they, they traded him or was free agent, I'm not sure, with the Braves. Larry Milburn, Tom Bernanski, it's another standalone uh, first year card. Ron Jackson, Doug Corbett, Steve Kemp, Rob Wilfong. For some reason this turned around, but don't know why. No biggie, Dennis Worth and Jose Morales. Okay, last three cards. And then we'll be done. This went on a lot, way longer than you know you normally would, but I just wanted to kind of take my time. I've not seen a lot of these cards before, so for me, this is a very cool experience, and hopefully you're enjoying it too. Last three cards. You've got Ozzy Smith the Wiz, his first year 
with the um, St. Louis Cardinals. There's his first St. Louis Cardinals card. This one can hold some value too as well, but you guys, you can see the center isn't so hot on this one. So, you know, this is nothing that I would have submitted, but I did pull this out, put it in a top loader. And um, this is the early days of the, of the channel, me getting back in the hobby, um, not really being familiar with the, with the grading process, but as time went on, I learned, and then um, that's why this card's not gonna ever go in. But there it is, Ozzy Smith. Next up, Reggie Jackson. First year with the California Angels. And the last one, I just gave it away. We all already knew what it was going to be. That is Cal Ripken Jr. But this is, you can see with him with the Yankees, A's before that. The uh, one year with the Orioles is is here as well. I should have brought over, well, it doesn't really fit, but I we found, um, I just discovered that, uh, you know, Jackson was in the 1977 uh, Topps release. Um under the Orioles team card, and he's in the photo, and they just didn't take him out of it. Um, and then there's the whole, you know, the Orioles card that uh, was changed over to the Yankees card. Um, and there are very few Orioles, Stan Long Ridge Jackson cards in existence, but there is that team card, and I wasn't aware of that until I found an article online that and I went and looked, I'm like, oh my God, I got the card. Grabbed with a magnified glass, took a look, and lo and behold, Reggie Jackson's around here, you know, somewhere like on this side of the card uh, on the team shot. The last one here, speaking of the Orioles, is Mr. Cal Ripken Jr. And this is his first standalone card, not considered his rookie card, although it should be. I really think that Beckett, you know, should not have been, like I said, should not have been given the power to decide you know, that this isn't a, a rookie card. Um, and that these things that say future stars on them are. So uh, that to me should have been considered a prospect card. But I don't know, maybe someday Tops will trade it, but they change it, but they probably won't. But you can see here this card um, initially when I pulled it out, I thought, oh, I'm going to send this in to get gray. This is going to get 10. Da, 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 not realizing. Well, the centering is off on this, and there's this yellow print dot right there. And let's just look at the back of it really quick. I don't see anything else really wrong with this card. The center of the back is bad. So my my guess is this card would probably get an eight at the best. But I'm guessing if they were going to be really tough, no matter who would do it, SGC, if I was to break down, even though I will never submit anything to PSA, but if I send it over to PSA, I, I think this would probably get between a seven and an eight. That's my guess. Um, probably an eight. I'm sure that they would see the condition of the corners and everything. It's really it's in phenomenal shape. So... Just the centering and this yellow print dot. So this one did not go in. And we've had other cards, uh, you know, other um, uh, other Ripken traded cards here on the channel. We've we've auctioned them off um, before because I don't really need them. I think maybe two. So, but I don't really, I don't need more than a couple. So um, this will stay though in the collection. This will never leave the house. Um, this will always be here. So that's all I got. A longer, much longer video than I had anticipated with this trade uh, series release reveal review. Um, but this is lots and lots of fun. I'm really glad I was able to dive into this. This is actually one of my favorite years of tops. I have a bunch of favorite years, but this is in my top probably five. So um, I just really, really like the design. And um, I kind of went crazy this, this year too and bought a ton of... Uh, of, of packs and it just brings back a lot of memories looking at this uh, year of, of tops and getting to tops and that's all I got for you guys today so remember we have a, um, a live auction coming up this Saturday I know everyone's going to be off of the national but I think a lot of our normal people will be here for our auction but we're going to do it on Saturday 7 to 10 p.m. so look out for a preview video on that coming up in a couple of days uh, we have a, a bunch of incredible incredible vintage cards um, that we're going to be auctioning off. Uh, we're going to have the main focus being baseball. We'll throw in a little bit of um, some early 80s, um, late 70s football and basketball in the mix too. And uh, But it should be really cool. So go check out that video when it comes out um, in the next day or so. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoy this, this 1982 Topps Baseball Traded Series set. Pretty wicked stuff right here, I must say. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you did too. 
And um, that's all I got. So remember, guys, to like, subscribe, comment down below, share that, share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. Remember to hit that notification bell and um, as well. And what else can I say? Comment down below. And our eBay store link is down below in the description, along with our other socials, too. So if you want to go um, follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, those links are down below in the description. I think Facebook is there, too. Um, we need to get a little more active with our on the, on the socials. So um, that's my plan in the next few weeks. Start to get a little more active there. Um, and that's all I got. So, guys, thanks again for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, folks, this is John on Sports Club. We'll sign off on hate. Awesome.